is the Wooly Bear trailer. Yeah, I'll talk louder than that. It's the Wooly Bear trailer from Paxa. They also make the Cricket, which we don't have anymore. But there aren't a whole lot of good walk around videos, so this is kind of the central part of it, I guess. Which is an awesome little uh, kitchen type area. And two burner stove. St you know, storage for whatever. Uh, there's two USB ports here, charge stuff, got a light, also got a another <clears throat> LED strip light that I could plug in there, and then there's three lights. So this compartment's all lit up, that compartment is all lit up, and then there's a third light that shines out on the ground, which is pretty nice at night. So well, this compartment, I had no idea how big it was until we got it. but. Here's like an ammo can, so you can tell how wide it is, and it goes all the way back to here. So there's there's a Mr. Buddy, here's four propane tanks, and I don't even have it stacked up, so you could fit a lot more stuff in there. And I just keep like random kind of gear stuff, but whatever. Lots of space in there. low so it's probably good for heavy stuff and then in the middle here here's another thing that I had no idea how big it was until I actually saw the trailer this is a five gallon bucket and you can see like you could fit easily two and if you had like a traditional square jerry can you could probably fit like I don't know three maybe it's pretty deep and there's a uh, holes in the bottom so water will drain out and then this supposed to be for a cooler our Yeti does not fit in it so usually the bedding will stay in the tent but uh, I pulled it out I pulled it out last weekend so tons of uh, space you also fit a cooler or like a fridge in there if you wanted to you'd have to run like wiring to plug it in though And then on this side, there's the spare tire, obviously, you can see that. There's another huge compartment, which we, on this trip, have a porta potty, the porta potty tent, uh, another sleeping bag. Um, not a whole lot of gear on this trip because we're not really doing anything, really. Here's the shower, which I'll do another video on. And this, there's a big LED strip right there, so it's it's really lit up well. Actually, if you leave this door open, that light will like shine like probably 10, 15 feet out. That's really bright. So it's a, it's a lot of space in here too. I could put my kite, all, all my wetsuit stuff, and still have like a ton of space. So if you had boxes, you could stack them up really well. And they have these openings and down here there's little eyelets so you can actually tie stuff down if you want it's kind of hard to see but you could tie stuff down in here so there's a lot of space in here too goes over to here so yeah just to give you an idea how much stuff can fit in here um the trailer weighs this one actually because it's 2017 it, it weighs like 1300 pounds empty and then it can do 600 pounds of weight cargo um also what's different about ours we put on the tent is the kukanam from tapui which when you if you bought this trailer from ta or from a dealership they put a tapui tent on but it's the smallest one they have so this one's 96 inches long by 54 56 inches wide um the smaller one is perfect for me. I camped in it by myself once. You could fit two, we could both fit in there. But um, this one's a lot bigger, and we had this one. So I changed it out, and when it's folded up, I had to mount it like offset because the bars were just at the right length where I, the uh, rails wouldn't let me mount it. So I had to move everything over to the left, which isn't a big 
big problem, but um, yeah, that's how I got it on here now. And I really wanted to mount it on the front of the trailer, but whatever. Maybe do that later. And then this whole cargo rack is super heavy duty steel. Like, you could stand up there, you could sleep up there if you wanted to. So, yeah, uh, get up oh, there. Yeah. What? Get up there. Oh. Pretty stout. So, I really like having the tent actually lower than on the Jeep. It's so much easier. Like, setting up the tent isn't hard anyway, but now it's, it's down at, like, my chest level. And, like, it's just super easy to unzip and... When you do leave bedding in it, you have to kind of work it a little bit when you close it and putting the springs up for the windows and stuff, it's just all super easy. And these are all steel so you can stand all over it. And then if you do want to disconnect it, the trailer, there's four uh, stabilizing jacks, one in front of each tire. So you just pop those down real quick. I, I just leave the tool back here. So it's out, and you just like throw it on there. You can do that four times, and uh, it's super solid. It doesn't move at all. I disconnected it last weekend, and but when we have it connected, there's no reason to to put the jacks down. So. And then the battery is mounted on the front, like every other small taxi trailer. And it, through the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pin round one, it powers the lights and uh, char recharges the battery while you're driving. So, how long you can run lights on that? I don't know. Probably a long time. So yeah, that's uh, that's everything I was curious about when I first looked at it. Oh yeah, that was the last, the other thing. The tent is not mounted on the cargo rack. They put Yakima, or no, sorry, Thule crossbars on the rack. And then you're mounting the tent on the crossbar. So just like if you had the Thule bars on a car. They're heavy duty metal crossbars. So the reason that I left the tent on the back is because they mounted the crossbars on the cargo deck, probably at the factory before they put the cargo deck onto the trailer. So what that means is it's like almost impossible to take the crossbars off of where they are and move them. So, because you can't just reach under here. So. That's why I left it on the back. It, it is possible, I think, to take the whole thing off and move the crossbars. But so you know, there also is the possibility of actually mounting it on because there's these openings. I think you could turn the tent and then that means the ladder would be going off the front of the trailer. And then you can mount the tent on here, I think. I don't know though, I didn't try it, so. Uh, yeah, I was I had no idea from pictures. You can't tell you can't really tell what is down here So the new ones they have like this rising system thing. I don't know It kind of it blocks these shelves when it's down. So I mean the Cabinets or whatever. So yeah also, I guess the uh, The wheel jack is like super easy like that should go all the way down if I had it up, but that one's way better than the one that was on the 2015 Cricut. And then the uh, the ball jack or a locking mechanism is uh, much more refined, I'd say. So I can connect this thing in like less than two minutes and be gone. All right, so why did we get rid of the Cricut camper? It was too much stuff, like... Uh, I was, I didn't like having the plumbing. We were going up north too in the wintertime and that kind of 
part of it, something to do with uh, being annoyed with it getting below freezing temperatures and you had to make sure it was all drained out. And this is a lot more, mo it's smaller, so it's way easy to tow. Even though the weight is actually pretty close to the Cricut, it's a lot smaller. So aerodynamically, it's like, it's really not a big deal to pull this at all. Uh, I actually, I, I get a lot better gas mileage too. Also, the Cricket felt, I don't know, it was just a little bit too much for us. Like, we like to be able to go further off-road and um, it was really nice having that much space inside, but also um, like a sink inside. I found that I didn't like cooking inside and I didn't like washing dishes inside. It was nice to be able to brush your teeth in a sink and have like running water and stuff. That was cool, I kind of missed that. Um, also being able to have a hot shower was nice, but later on I can show you how I have a hot shower too. So it's a little bit more work, but um, in the long run, this is just simpler. I like simple, compact things. And uh, this is a little bit more modular too. Like. I can put uh, different stuff in it for different trips and take it out. And the cricket was always just like this big thing that had everything in it. So this is smaller, lighter, easier to get around with, and uh, it's outside. Like you cook outside, you hang out outside. I like it better. So yeah, the cricket was cool. I we, I kind of miss it here and there. So it's not like I hated it or anything. It was just like uh, we we got it for a good price, so we experimented with it. So, and we sold it for a good price too. So, it was a win-win for us, I'd say.